Hello everyone, this is Mahinder. In this video, we are going to solve XS 4.2 problem number 1. Look at the question once. Express the following numbers in the standard form. These are the given questions. We have to write them in standard form. So we already learned about standard form in the previous video. Right? Look at the first one. 0. Point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 zeros. 0. Point 0.9 zeros. And 9, 4, 7. 0. Point 9 zeros, 9, 4, 7 is the given number. So we have to write in this standard form. Okay. Right, look at here. What we can write? How many digits are there after decimal point? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we have to write 1, 12 zeros. Okay. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And this becomes, what becomes? 947. 947 by 112 zeros here, okay? Right. And this we can write 947 by how many zeros are there? 12 zeros. That is by 10 power 12 it is. Okay. We can write 947 by 10 power 12. And this we can write 947 into 10 power minus 12. Isn't it? This 10 power 12 becomes 10 power minus 12 if it goes to numerator. Which formula I have used here? A power m, sorry, a, 1 by a power m is equals to a power minus m formula I have used here. Okay. Here we can stop here. Or we can simplify even it is. This we can write 9.47 into 100 into 10 power minus 12 so how I have written this if you multiply with this 100 it becomes again 947 okay so this we can write 9.47 into 10 power 2 into 10 power minus 12 so 9.47 into 10 power 2 minus 12 it is if the bases are common, we can add the powers. Which formula? A power m into A power n is equals to A power m plus n formula. Okay. Right. This becomes 9.47 into 10 power 10 we can write. Isn't it? If you multiply again, you will get the same this here. Okay. Right. We can write in another way also. Or else we can stop here. We can write this also. Or else we can write one more method also. What is that? 0 0.947 into. So I am taking this decimal point again in front of 9. That is why we can multiply with another 10. 10 power 10 as it is. What becomes? 0 0.947 into 10 power 11. 10 power 10 plus 10 power, sorry, 10 power 1 it is, nothing but 10 only. This 1 and this 10 becomes 11, isn't it? Right. We can write in this way also. All these are correct answers, okay? We can use this according to the our requirement, okay? Right. This is the problem number 1. Next, we go for problem number Right, what is the question? Five, four, three, 
many zeros? Nine zeros. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is it nine? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Nine zeros. What we can write this? So we can write five forty three into nine zeros. One into sorry one nine zeros. Right. So this we can write five forty three into ten power nine. Isn't it? Can you write? Yes. We can stop here. Okay. This is the our answer. Or else we can go forward. What is that? So if I want to take decimal point, so if I write 54.3, what we can write? We have to multiply with 110 because I am taking the decimal point here in front of one digit. That is why I am multiplying with 10. And our 10 power 9 as it is. What it becomes? 54.3 into 10 power 1 plus 9. Nothing but 54.3 into 10 power 10. Or else we can write. This is also our answer. We can write 5.43. So what we can write here? We can multiply with one more 10 here into 10 power 10. Isn't it? Right. What it becomes? 5.43 into 10 power it becomes 10 power 11. This is also our answer. Okay, so we can change answer like this. Okay, that right. if I want to take this decimal point in front of 5, it becomes 10 power 12. It means nothing but 0.543 into 10 power 12 it becomes, isn't it? Right. I think you have got the idea. How I am writing this? All these things, okay? Right. Next, go for row number three. Right. Next, four eight three triple zero double zero. Okay. Four eight three five zeros. Right. This we can write. Four eight three into okay, right. Four eight three into one five zeros, okay. And four eighty three into ten power five we can write here, isn't it? This is we can stop here. If I want to stop, but I'm continuing here, so no need to go forward. But I'm giving clarification. This we can write four eight point forty eight point three into. We need to multiply with ten because I'm taking the decimal point here. That is why I'm multiplying with ten. What becomes four forty eight point three into ten power one plus five. Nothing but forty eight point three into ten power six. I'm not writing the formula here. Okay, what is that formula? A power m into a power n is equals to a power m plus n is a formula. Okay, right. So what becomes next? Four point eight three into ten power so ten into ten power six. So I am taking the decimal point in front of eight here. Okay. So that is why I need to multiply one more ten. What becomes? 4.83 into 10 power 1 plus 6, nothing but 4.83 into 10 power 7, isn't it? Next, what becomes? This is answer. Or else we can write 0.4. I am taking a decimal point in front of 4. That is why I am multiplying with one more 10 here. So what becomes? 0.483 483 into 10 power is it it becomes okay isn't it is it clear yes so we can write in this four forms okay all these are right answers right next we go for problem number 4 
Next. Power number 4. 0 0.00000 9298 okay right so how many decimal places are there after decimal point 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 decimal places are there so actually we can write this 0 0 0 0 0 0 9 2 9 8 by I'm removing the decimal point here this we can write 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 eight zeros okay there is no value in front of these numbers for these zeros okay that is i'm removing zeros here nine two nine eight by one triple zero double sorry eight zero total eight zeros okay isn't it do you get this right now what becomes nine two nine eight by this we can write ten power eight isn't it Next, what you can write? 9298 into 10 power minus 8. I am writing here. 10 power minus 8. So we can stop here. Or else, this we can write 929.8 into 10 power 10 into 10 power minus 8. So if I multiply with 10 again, it becomes 9298. But I am writing 929.8 into 10 here, okay? So what becomes 929.8 into 10 power 1 minus 8 it is, isn't it? So 929.8 into 10 power minus 7, isn't it? So this is also our answer. Or else we can write. 9 to I'm taking decimal point in front of digit 9 here it is 9 8 again I need to multiply with one more 10 okay 10 power minus 7 as it is so what becomes 9 2.98 into 10 power 1 minus 7 isn't it so what we can write 9 2.98 into 10 power minus 6 okay so this is also our answer or else we can write 9.298 into 10 power minus 5. I have written directly here. Okay. So actually we need to multiply one more 10 here. But I am I'm writing here directly. Or else we can write 0 0.9298 into 10 power minus 4. This is also our answer. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 ways. Okay. Right. Next problem number 5. Right. What is that? 0 0.00000 Five two nine. Okay, what we can write here? Zero 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 five two nine. I'm removing the decimal point here. What you can write? One four zeros and three. So seven zeros. One two three four five six seven. So after the decimal point, seven places are there. That is why I'm taking seven zeros here. So there is. For this, there is no value. For that is why I am writing 529 by 10 power 7. Okay, isn't it? Is it clear? Right. Next, this we can write 529 into 10 power minus 7. I am taking this 10 power 7 into numerator here. So this is the our answer. Or as we can write 5. 52.9 into 10 power minus 6. Okay. This now I have explained why I am writing this minus 6 here. If I multiply with this 10, what becomes 529? Sorry, 52.9 into 10 into 10 power minus 7. 
so 52.9 into 10 power 1 minus 7 so 52.9 into 10 power minus 6 this is the way to write here but I am writing directly here okay so what is what we can write next this is also our answer this is also our answer this we can write 5.29 into 10 power minus 5 we can write and this in so we can write one more method also 0 0.529 one way this is also another way 10 power minus 4 so if we, if you are taking the decimal point forward you need to less one exponent here okay if it is in the negative if it is positive if, we, if it is positive exponent we can increase the power okay right so all these are answers only 1 2 3 4 okay i think in your textbook given this is our answer okay right right on pause the video